Tales. I thought those stories were just kids' tales. Jason Rao is the most technical person I've gone against. I've seen him tap World and ADCC medalists multiple times since he's been in Lachlan said Rao taught him some stuff he used for his ADCC run. Mikey said Rao taught him how to heal. Craig is phenomenal and one of the best in the world, but there's rolling footage of Craig and Jason live where Jay does submit him multiple times on flow grappling. He's very good jiu-jitsu. If Jason Rogers shows up and does what he does in the gym, he'll beat everybody easily. Jason Rao. Jason Rao gets a submission again. There's the tap Ooh. on the heel. Oh, I mean, that is clean. Uh, but he was a guy that was, you know, extremely good in the training room, you know, world class. I still think to this day, he's he's legitimately one of the best in the world. Before he could to see what all the hype's about, we're rolling with one of his best blue belts. Max is an active competitor with dangerous leg locks. And delivers shots wall. Max starts off the roll, applying real heat to my guard with side to side movement. As he re-engages my guard, I shoot up a far side K guard. Because of the threat, Max elects to take bottom position. As I look to get control of a leg, Max launches a leg attack of his own. No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! This is until Max puts a weight on my back leg and inverts under me. He looks to start attacking my legs again, this time from 50-50, so I hit a quick back step so I'm in a good posture to fight the hands. In 50-50, either of us can submit the other at any given moment. I slip my secondary foot under his grip to create space and separate his hands. I separate the legs and look for a leg lock of my own, but Max hides his heel. He passes my leg over to outside Ashi and I start to worry that I'm in a good position for his best submission. The Aoki. Yeah, so here, I noticed one of the gym's best black belts is in the direction I'm headed. And I'm not trying to end up like this and I guy. I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, get the fuck away from me. I want to smack the fuck out of you. <laughs> so I clumsily try to pummel without touching him. I look to high step, but I don't have a good enough grip on Max's far leg, so he throws up another outside Ashi. I feel Max start to high step here. So I roll to minimize heel exposure, but he gets a good look on my heel and finishes me. We reset, and this time I'm ready for the inversion. I punish him for it by stacking him and look to pin both of his legs to the ground. Questionably, I put my arm inside Max's leg huh? to clear his wrist grip, but he forces me to bail on the stack with a quick arm bar attempt. Do you ever see a really cool move online and try using it in a roll without ever actually drilling the move? Yeah, well that's what happened here and I got punished for it with a quick 50-50 entry. If I sit and accept the 50-50, I'll enter one of the only completely neutral positions in all of jiu-jitsu, where true technical skill is what will determine who comes out on top. I'm all in. Max quickly finds some heel exposure with the undercross grip, but I don't panic because as long as his legs aren't across my body, I can always fight the hands from 50-50. I do exactly that and then look to separate his feet. I roll for the heel and almost find the submission, but he slips it. I roll for the heel again, but I don't have good elbow to rib connection on the bite, so Max slips it again. At this point, I try to bail and look to get some different options going, but Max looks to keep me in 50-50. Just when they thought I was out, they pull me back in. He comes up onto his shoulders and throws backside, so I look to backstep again. Max passed the legs across the saddle, but I want a more neutral position, so I pass them back to 50-50. As I look to stand again, Max continues his cycle of leg attacks. I escape and shuffle north-south. I look to get my forehead buried onto his stomach, but Max is keeping good frames. I try to roll him through to a turtle, but I don't get off center enough and Max grabs a leg. Max starts taking me for a ride, but I slip off and face him. Scared of any future wrestling exchanges, I pull guard. Bruh. Max pressures into my Delaheva, so I come up onto the point of my shoulder, pummel my leg inside, and come up for the sweep. He looks for another outside Ashi entry, but this time again, I'm ready. I grab the pocket of his hips and try to cut the corner for the back, but unfortunately the round expires. At this point, I'm only thinking, if that's just one of his blue belts, what's Jason like? There's only one way to find out. It's time to roll with Jujitsu's best kept secret. For the sake of the timer, I decided to leave all footage in neutral positions uncut. Jay has me in wide guard here and is looking for the Shizinski lock, and finishes it in just 10 seconds. You're good. That's the goal. I look for an E cut, but Jay off balances me and grabs a scoop grip on my near leg, entering X guard. He pulls my leg in and gets two feet controlled, but I'm able to pummel out before the sweep. Well, that is until I get submitted again. 
trying to pass without getting my legs entangled, which is not working, so I pulled guard. I look for K-guard, but he stacks me before I can get my knee inside. I'm stiff from years of cross country, so I can only defend a stack for about three seconds. Three, take it or leave it. He passes to mount and looks for a quick Kimura. When it fails, he transfers to the back and gets the tap. I do a little hop and skip to try the flank, but it doesn't seem to be working. I switch to the old reliable knee cut, but that leads to, well, another leg lock. This just feels like a bear attack. He's walking me down on bottom and tearing me to shreds on top. I look for a reverse K-guard this time, but Jay pressures into me, swats my frames off, and passes me. I'm able to, Jay lets me, bring my knees inside and invert to 50-50. But this is a classic case of a black belt baiting you for another move. Gotcha, bitch! Jay looks to hit a fancy stomp bolo, I look to roll with him, but he follows me, and now my arm's trapped. Jay's trying to force me to my near side knee to look for the back, so I drop to the other knee and face him to defend. But he makes my legs light with a C grip and throws his legs over for 50 50. As I go to address the bottom hook, he catches my heel. I look to come forward and fight the hands, but he lengthens me out and brings his legs across. That whole roll, I did not land one successful move. Don't roll with him, he's a spaz. I'm going to be uploading more consistently, so make sure to subscribe and share if you enjoyed. Also, if you want more of the best of the best, you can buy an instructional or visit Vanguard on Long Island.